All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video, what I got going on for you guys is I'm gonna be really getting in to discuss the Dunk Low Championship Red and if it is worth going for, how you guys can get it. And if you really just want it for the personal collection, if it's your own personal taste, then you know, we'll get into discussing it. Really all the details of the shoe, when it's dropping, retail, and everything about it. So I hope you guys will enjoy. If you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below. It's always possible, you know, road to 50k again. I said there, I'm gonna give away a pair of Lightning 4s. You can go check my video from yesterday. I got a ton of pairs in, so one of those, I'm definitely gonna be giving away to y'all there when we hit 50k. And then uh, another thing I wanna mention too, uh, aside from that, it, it's for any size. That's the main thing I wanna mention. So I only got like size like eight through like 12 up here, but if you're like a 13, 14, uh, other size, we got it. or grade school size, we got that too. Cause I'll probably be doing this with secret sauce. That's why I'm saying we, but aside from that, let's just get into the giveaway, all that. You see my Instagrams, all that down below. So as I mentioned in the description. So first things first, main thing I want to mention right here about the shoe, it has a hundred dollar retail. And this one has already dropped at a lot of places. There's many, many, many places that have already released the shoe through a raffle or you know some sort of like in-store draw so there's th this shoe's been out there you know for a couple months at least to what i know since since at least july i know that and overseas has had it maybe since early july maybe before july 4th like i've seen this one for a pretty long time to say the least so just main thing last kind of drop i see of it officially happening is on sneakers on the 16th there still may be a couple other raffle uh, raffles happening and uh don't forget typical drop time you guys can see that right there don't forget to check uh, check the app to see what time it is actually dropping for you because you know it's not going to be the same time everywhere just main thing i want to mention there also always you know kind of point that out but also right here we're just kind of getting to discussing the basic details of it i mean you can kind of see why they're calling uh calling this one the championship red i mean there's there's a lot of red on the shoe it's pretty much just red and white on the sneaker nothing really else other than you know got the little orange right there on the insole you know with the nike symbol but aside from that I, i'm not really a fan of this one i can see why people like this shoe it just it's not my personal taste i wouldn't be shocked if this one rose in value it, just because you know people like it but i think there's also a lot of people on my boat here that don't like this shoe and it's not also you know that normal style of color blocking i mean there's been you know other dunks with you know classic colorway color blocking that have gone up such as the michigan dunk low I mean, the michigan state ones those are example of you know like a classic color blocking which is white and then one other color in the shoe and this one is an example that you know it's white and then one other color in the shoe but it's kind of like reversed a little bit if you guys can kind of understand what i'm saying there so i just i don't know if i'm really feeling these ones in terms of you know for me but i'll still go for bigger sizes since that's going to be the main thing you want to go for here if you're trying to resell this shoe so good luck to my uh, people you know with bigger feet they're just trying to get this to wear pretty much everyone's going to be going for bigger sizes on these because those smaller sizes are not really uh selling much at all and i'll kind of show you all that in a second it's very light profit on the smaller sizes you can still go for them it just you won't make as much and especially with these i'm expecting a little bit higher stock and sneakers i'm expecting people to quick sell these and I, I don't expect many people to hold on to these i'd have to look into these a little bit more to see how they're doing we can look at it in a second but overall they're all right i mean they have a lot of details do they have grade school size and also yeah so you can go for grade school sizes also i don't know how the grade school sizes are doing but i'll definitely look into that and check that too if the grade school ones are doing better then you know those might be something to look into because that's always you know happened with some dunks grade school sizes going for more so i want to be looking into that again you guys kind of know my opinion i'm just not a fan not really my taste okay so oddly enough i found something going on as i kind of suspected N something not really out of the ordinary here with the grade school sizes i like what i'm seeing but we're going to discuss the adult ones really first here so looking at the adult sizes again these ones haven't really risen or anything to what i know i mean you can see a little rise going on here so maybe there is a little bit of hype for these but of course they're dropping once another uh, release was found to be happening on sneakers but i don't see these being really a quick rise and if they were to be a hold it would be kind of you know one you'd have to hold for like kind of six eight maybe twelve months but that's usually how most holds are you have to hold them for around six to twelve months like kind of you know that normal time span that's how it is but looking into reselling these ones i mean they've never really been reselling for a super high price the highest they were at ever was really 220 so these have never really been like that shoe so that's why i'm thinking just if you get these bigger sizes whatever it may be maybe you could hold on to it for you know a few months to see what happens and maybe you'd make like an extra 20 30 40 bucks on top but I would just probably sell it now. That's just my personal opinion. So if you want to look at resale right now, why I'm saying go for those bigger sizes, you can see kind of once you get above a size 11, a resale crosses over kind of, you know, that 180, 190 range. So that's why I would definitely go for those uh, 11 plus. It's going to be my goal too. I'm definitely going to be focusing with all my accounts on kind of 11 through 13. 
and uh, hopefully we'll hit some pairs because those are kind of the ones that will stay at a value and will kind of stay profitable even when pairs land in hand. I kind of can guarantee that. But And, you know, the smaller sizes are still worth it to go for. I mean, you can still see the reselling around 140, 150. You even got, you know, this 160, 10.5. Even a 10.5 is worth it. Go for a 10.5 and above. A 10.5 is also selling pretty decent. Let's go look at what the highest bid is. So, uh, recent sales on 10.5. All right, yeah, go for a 10.5. Those are around 175, 185 right now. So, I mean, yeah, definitely go for any ones above. Bigger sizes is the typical goal with any release. Jordan 4s, Jordan 1s. Bigger sizes always do better because uh, people with bigger feet are in the shoes more. I guess that's proof. So, yeah, aside from that, uh, and it's also lower stock. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense too. Well, not necessarily. 10 and a half is one of the most stocked sizes usually in a shoe. So, it's kind of weird. But, yeah, aside from that, quick sell the shoe, in my opinion. That's my resale estimation. So hopefully you guys understand that. And then looking at the grade school sizes, something that I said was a little odd that's going on right here. Again, these ones are retailing at $100 also, if I'm correct. Or no, 85. I'm tripping. Yeah, 85. I don't know what I'm saying right there. StockX is, has some incorrect data there. But yeah, if you can look at this, these are rising. These are these are rising right now. So go for the grade school sizes. You better enter in the grade school sizes too because I'm nice car or something right there but yeah you better enter in the grade school sizes too because resales looking pretty nice on these ones i can't even lie uh so i'm definitely going for my grade school pairs the sizes i would go for right now as you guys can tell i'm not really going to give a range or estimation since i know it's been speaking on this for a while but i'd probably say you know best ones to go for would be anything above a four and a half wide that's typically the best sizes to hold on to too uh it might take a bit you know and it'll probably go down once it gets in hand but we'll kind of see what's going on there it's rising right now i mean i don't really know how many i mean we've got a thousand sales so might be a decent I, I might i might look into this one right here might see a video or coming from me jesus uh that kind of discussing hold on this so aside from that another thing i want to mention i'm gonna link this down below these two sneakers videos if you've been here you know what these are right here this one shows you how to make multiple accounts and sneakers and then this one kind of shows you all the tips that i use to hit and draws more often this has worked for me and i hit pretty much monthly you know i can i can say i hit in a few releases uh pretty much every month and i'm happy to say that and all it really takes is you know just being consistent on sneakers a few other things i mentioned it all in this video i'm making an updated version soon since there's a couple things that have changed up that i've at least i've noticed about sneakers like some stuff like activity doesn't necessarily matter as much and I, you know, I have to kind of discuss that. So those, these will be linked down below. So if you don't know, if you don't have more than one account, you definitely need to do that because uh, that's that's you're reducing your chances of only having one. So another thing I want to mention too, since this release is definitely dropping on many foot sites, also it's another reason why I said it will probably drop a fair amount after its release. I mean, most sneakers do, but this one especially, I think, just because I mean it's dropping all the normal foot site locations, so it probably won't drop too much. I mean, mainly botters will be scooping this one up, but. I want to give a huge shout out to my guys at Secret Sauce right here. I mentioned them pretty much any how-to cop I got going on. If you're in the chat, there's $60 a monthly fee, and they've helped me out with copping a lot of releases. I can say that. And even just random items, too. If it's not a shoe that I'm going for, there's tons of ways that I make money. Like, they caught me PS5s, you know, like the random sports cards drops and, you know, Pokemon uh, card releases. Like, they're always helping me out there with, like, random profits, which I, it, that's a good thing because most of my profit in my group, I can say I cop a fair amount of shoes there, but I can say most of my profit from that group crumbs from other items that are not shoes like ps5s and different things like that so i always encourage anybody that's in the chat if you've been in it to look into the other ways you can make money because people sleep on them and definitely you know not something you should sleep on because ps5s are hot right now they're really reselling especially those graphics cards i mean dude retail 650 resell 1600 like people were sleeping i don't get it but yeah aside from that Really, if you were trying to just focus on getting shoes in this chat, how you would do that is once you're in the chat, they have a section uh, in their Discord called Tickets. Same thing as, you know, the slots thing, which again is how they'd copy releases. But in that ticket section, it shows you all the people that, you know, are trusted bot providers that they use in their chat that may be running again for PS5s or some sports cards or again, a sneaker release, whatever it may be. They also have a section in their chat called like important info. Really, really useful. I encourage everybody to always check that out pretty often because it can show you kind of what's going on in the day. You know, if there's like an important sneakers release, a reserve, something going on the Nike app, like you can know in advance, you know, you may be able to hit in it. And uh, yeah, again, if you were just trying to enter in a ticket to get a release, how that would work is once you're uh, in that ticket section, you could just enter in one for, you know, whatever shoe it may be. Like I entered in one for the Lightning 4 the other day. All I did was put my shipping and payment info and I would have copped, but I put the wrong card Hard, so I'm pretty upset about that, but they're 100% safe and legit. You can trust all their bot providers and everything. I use them weekly, never had an issue. And you know, they've, they've helped me cop a lot of releases. I would have had another grade school pair and maybe even an adult pair of lightning fours. I know I would have had two pairs of Yeezy lights too, if I used the right card also. So there's a lot of things they would have caught me if 
Tristan would have just you know thought with his brain there. So I've learned a couple lessons though. I've learned that you can only use privacy uh, if you know one merchant. And then I've also learned uh, you know <laughs> wish my credit card had come in on time. But now I'm good. I'm all good. I, you know I've got them set up with that, and they're gonna hopefully cop me a few PS5s and run it up. You know that's that's the goal. I want all the PS5s. <laughs> Those are easy local profit and easy just money in general. So if you want to join their chat, you're interested in cop and shoes or whatever it may be, random profits, just hit their chat and you know send them a message on Twitter. Be like yo. Tristan sent me, how can I get into it? You know, I'm interested in getting into Secret Sauce. If they don't respond there, just go to their Instagram, be like, yo, Tristan sent me, how can I get in? That's all I really gotta do right there. So check them out and yeah, I appreciate them. We've been working together for a while and we got the 50K giveaway coming up for sure. So another thing also, I wanna link this down below, this raffle sneakers article right here. Uh, again, many raffles have already happened for the shoe and many are already closed. But if you want to check this out, there might still be a couple going on. But I, I don't think there's really any raffles still going on for the shoe. Mainly, as Sneaker News and House of Heat have shown you all, I'm going to link this House of Heat one down below. It shows you that there's mainly just foot sites dropping this release. And Sneaker News shows you that there's pretty much no raffles going on for the shoe. It's, it's really... It's really just foot sites for this. So you'll see this article linked down below with this one. If there is any raffles, I don't really think there is. You can Google, you can go ahead and Google it, but I'm pretty sure all the ones are closed. But feel free to Google some raffles. I've seen maybe a couple going on, so feel free. But that's all I really need to mention right there. And that's how you guys can cop the dunk low. Um, I would I would just call this one uni the University Red. That's what I'd say, but they're calling it the Championship Red. So aside from that, I'll just kind of hop into the outro. If y'all want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below. All that is there. And I appreciate your guys' constant support. Y'all have been showing so much love. We're really heading to 50K uh, pretty soon. So I'm definitely going to be getting that giveaway uh, soon for y'all also. I appreciate y'all following me. Follow me on my Instagram too. We're going to hit 7K there, which I didn't even notice. So <laughs> I appreciate that for real. Thank you all. So we're going to keep working hard. Leave any questions, anything y'all got down below. Y'all will see another video tomorrow, probably. If not, then your boy's just taking the day off. We've been uploading for a few months straight, but we're going to keep it going because we're not, I don't want to stop that. And, you know, it's been, it's good to stay consistent. You get more viewers from it. So I'm going to end the screen recording. And yeah, that's everything I need to mention. So I'm Tristan. Thank you all for watching. And uh, what time is it? I got class in like three hours. I don't know why I got, got, I got up so early to make this video. I don't know why. Oh, well. All right. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.